WKAT now comes with the new and important podcast formula. That's right. WKAT will now be broadcasting the best, the best podcast in North Central Indiana. And now we have on the line Henry Jenkins. And Henry is calling us from Dallas, Texas. Just want to say, y'all, fuck rock, man. If you'd like to join the conversation, call in during filming hours. But wait, there's more. To make sure you don't miss the action, get in touch with us on other social media platforms. Twitter. Tweet, tweet. Instagram. Facebook. And YouTube. Links found in the description below. WKAT Podcast is fan funded at PayPal. And there it is. WKAT Podcast. And now, live on YouTube. With your host, Michael J. Jackson, and Anthony Green, WKAT. Are you tired of watching the news, getting the same old, same old stories day in and day out? Then you must be ready for some action, and not that crap the government is trying to feed you. Then tune in to the following program. Outlaw Media. WKAT. North Central Indiana's YouTube leader is bringing back the best. The best. Podcast. In the mother world. They are the true crime duo. Covering it all. From the most prolific crimes in history. To that guy busted down the road for drinking a beer and eating a pizza. (laughs) Michael J. Cat. A former military policeman now dedicated to researching cases to find out the facts. Anthony Greeno. A former reality TV bounty hunter who has arrested some of the nation's most dangerous fugitives. Together. They are WKAT. A fan-funded news organization hell-bent on seeking out justice. Southern style. This channel operates solely on your donations. If you'd like to make a donation, then please visit one of our PayPal donation pages. Or, if you're a high roller, then maybe you can visit them both. Right here. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. So if you're subscribed to Michael Cash or Anthony Greeno's True Crime Investigates, then head on over to our Outlaw Media page, click that subscribe button, and share with all of your social media friends. WKAT. Uncovering the truth and breaking the mold. What's going on? YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or wherever the hell you're watching from. I'm Anthony Greeno. Michael J. Cat is on the phone right now. Welcome to WKAT, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Okay, man, glad we got this happened here. Okay, all right. So, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to hit a couple settings on the OBS system when I, or the YouTube setup when I was doing this. That's caused a big delay, and it really lags, and it starts to buffer a lot. So, I had to go fix that and start a different one. But here we are. So, okay, so basically what I was saying before is this is just a follow-up video on what he was just talking about on his channel. If you weren't on his channel just a few minutes ago, then I suggest that you guys go back and watch that after you watch this. But we're going to go over a lot of the same information. But over here, you're going to see some documents and stuff like that. Everything that he's talking about, I'm going to try to pull it up on the screen while he's talking about it. So... With that being said, I mean, really, the the, the floor is his. Um, so go ahead and roll with whatever you want to roll. Make sure I'm going to make sure that everybody can hear you okay. So can anybody hear him okay? Speak to him. Okay. Check, check, check. Everybody hear him all right? He should be able to. Okay, good. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, I will begin with point number one. Now, on point number one... <clears throat> Uh, how this occurred with the loss of his job in June. You know, I got on uh, Google and I was looking for some information and I came across some investigative sites that would give like uh, jobs, uh, home, when they lived there, telephone, email, um, their uh, social media pages. 
you know, all like that. So when I got that and I was looking over the job, now this goes back into uh, June of 2012 when he lost the uh, Schnucks uh, grocery store manager job. But the following month is when Evansdale occurred on the 13th. Now, I had sent Greeno the uh, thing on that, but it's just black and white where it says when he lost his job in June. That's mm-hmm. not really anything that may need to be covered there. Am I not correct? Right. Yeah, I agree too. Okay. Now, the same applied on the second one when he had uh, filed bankruptcy in January of 2017. His co-worker said he resigned from his job shortly after filing, and that was on the 12th of January. So I can assume it was the second or third week of January. The following month, February, was the uh, Delphi murders. One month later. You got that? Yep. So in each case, these two crimes happened one month after he lost his job. Uh, but on that, I'd like to scroll down here to the bottom, back to the FBI uh, profile. Okay. Uh, let me see where in the hell that is there. Right there. Is that uh, the suspect may have been experiencing stress related to legal troubles, spousal problems, employment difficulties, financial strain, or mental health issues in July of 2012. Well, of those, employment difficulties, financial strain, and mental health issues, I'm on that. that those were my suspect at that time. Okay. And at, and at the time of uh, uh, Delphi, same thing. Employment, finances, mental health and again there's nothing to throw up on that however let me get to number three okay number three uh i've always assumed that the uh suspect in delphi had handguns Mm -hmm. uh as uh, the rest of the girls and had them comply with him and thomas bruce owned handguns and would carry his bankruptcy showed that he owned a glock 43 a six sawyer and a 22 cal pistol now you have the photo for that from the bankruptcy yep if you can blow that up a touch okay let me put it on the big screen okay and that shows the weapons that he had because it was always assumed that he had a handgun and right there they are and one of those handguns is the one that killed uh jamie schmidt down there and it's probably the same identical one that he used in evansdale and delphi right okay okay point four the vehicle spotted at Myers Lake uh, out the entrance of Gilbert Drive was an older style boxy white Suburban. Three people had saw it at the approximate time that the girls went missing. On Google Maps, and this is the 2012 Google Maps, I located his house that was on Lack Link Drive where he was living in 2012 at that time. And it shows right out front, uh, older style white boxy Suburban. Greeno, please show them the picture of the Bronco there. You got it. And if you can make blow that up, I don't know if you can. Yeah. It looks a little like a boxy van to me because of the front. Yeah, it does. It does kind of look that way. Now I am showing it. Can, um, can you see it okay on the screen? Yes, I can. Okay. Quite well. Cool. Yeah. So there it now, is. Right there in that photo, at the very back of that. Uh, Suburban is his driveway right that here goes up to his house now his wife parked in the driveway and I don't think that he parked in the driveway because he didn't want to back out I think he pulled it to the front but I'm pretty sure that that is his white Suburban right there okay and that fits that totally fits um, you know what, what we're looking for a white fucking Suburban because these people after the crime had occurred they, did, they, they thought other people would have turned that in. I mean, it was a few months until they came forward and said, yeah, well, we've seen an older boxy style, maybe like Chevy Bronco, something like that. You know, but they was looking at it from a distance. However, I think that that may be the car that they was describing because it does belong to him. I'll tell you that right now. It belongs to him, and it's sitting outside of his house, if that's the one. 
Right. Point five. Oh wait, hang on. Let me read the rest of that there. All right. The dates of Evansdale and Delphi are reversible. Seven thirteen twelve to thirteen seventeen. He arrived at Moon on High Bridge Trail at approximately 12 noon on Monday, February 13, 2017. He left at approximately 3 p.m. after the murders were completed. Now, if his wife said that they had a dinner date that night, it's four th- It's a four-hour and 30-minute drive, minus one hour going from Eastern Time into Central Time, making it three hours on the clock. He could have got there in plenty of time to have a dinner date with his wife, and he never would have been missed. And the reason I say that is because it was the reverse date. He had just lost a job. He was duly aware of Moon on High Bridge Trail. He knew that he could get there. He knew no one, no one there knew him, and he could commit the crime and get home. Now, if you got the reverse date on that, there you go. Got him up. Yep. Totally reversible date. Now, that isn't odd. That isn't even just statistical. That. Ladies and gentlemen, is pre-planned. Twelve cut. Go on. Give me your question. Uh, his question was, "Did you? What was about the info? Okay, remember when you went over the information on the uh, the paper that you got back? He was wanting to know if you got the information yet. He apparently wasn't there. Oh, okay, no, they did not give that to me, and it was for a different reason. They wanted a VIN number, whereas what I wanted to know is, in 2012, did he own a white vehicle, a white suburban? Now, there is nothing wrong with this, understand, because I was going to call him back, and I did right before I went live. But when I called him, I had like 25 minutes till I went live, and I was number 49th in line. I thought, okay, that's going to be 45 minutes to an hour. That ain't going to play now. But I will call tomorrow because I can't verify. I can't verify that he owned a white suburban. Okay. Cool. But anyway, you know, I, I want people to look at those girls. Look at those girls. Elizabeth was nine, Lyric was 11, Abby was 13, and Libby was 14. That's horrific. I don't know why anybody, anyone, would go do this. I mean, this is a very, he's a twisted man. For anything that people thought that he was a nice, loving, caring, friendly man, there's a flip switch when he starts drinking and that man goes and commits crimes like that. Yeah. That's that's a sad nature, man. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, Unipanther? Hold on. Hold on. Hang on one second. One quick moment. Okay. Unipanther. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I closed it. Man, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Unit Panther, please reach me at this address. Just send me a letter. Just send me some because I need to talk to you off of uh, live. Or, I mean, at least chat. Please write me there. Hey, do we have a moderator at all? Um, you know what? I'm, I'm looking. I don't see... No, I don't, I don't see any moderators in here. Alaska Blue didn't make it. Mama Bear didn't make it. Ogie Pogie didn't make it. Yeah, nobody made it. We're doing this alone? People didn't make it. Wow. Wow, that's that's heartbreaking, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, well, I mean... Hold, wow. Okay, so hold on. I'm looking for... Hold on. Let me... Let me. Um, you know what, Lily White? Here. Lily White, guess what? Oh, oh wait, can I? Yeah, you should be I able to. I can't make her a mod. I can't make her a mod, dude. Oh, I I would have to. Dang, man! You know yeah. what? When I when I looked in here and seen no mods, it was like it was like the Mario die theme, you know? Um. <laughs> uh, make Lily White a moderator, if you would. Okay, hold on. Lily White. Dang it, man. It's like as soon as I click on one, it's like five more come up. Congrats, Lily. I don't know, man. She's 
she's the one that said I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, guess what? You're doing it, man. You 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 got the moderator seat, girl. You have the wrench. Wham! That's right. You can do things. <laughs> Uh, okay, Running Fox, if you're from Iowa or around there, please write me at mrcat420 at gmail.com right here, please, because there are some questions that I have. Yes, okay. and we'd like to go to Iowa. So, I mean, if you guys could write me there, that'd be fantastic. We'd love it. Okay. All right, awesome. Cool, Running Fox, yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Okay. Uh, did you moderate her? Yeah, she's moderated. Who? Okay. Lily, copy that shit. <laughs> yeah, and that. Yeah, shit. man. You know what? Twelve cut, man. No moderator to him. Twelve cut. Yeah, he's in there. Twelve cut. Hold on. Kind of want to get back on to what we're talking about here. There you go, 12 Cut. Okay, so Lily, you post his PayPal link. 12 Cut, you post mine. Alrighty, there you go. Boom. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that one, though. We yeah, Lily, not the, the, not the YouTube one. and the uh, email addresses. Okay, so. Where are we? We're right after the reversible date. Right, right after the reversible dates. Let me transition back over to the big screen, and we will jump right over there to those things right now. Number six. Number six. Okay, now this is the one with the uh, directions from his place in Imperial to Fort Wayne, so get ready to pull that up. Already pulled I it. Checked, uh, I checked directions from his house in Imperial to his brother's house in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It showed two routes, one being I-70, uh, and the next being the Hoosier Heartland route, which takes Highway 25 by Monon High Bridge Trail. I fully believe that Thomas Bruce was aware of this trail, and had stopped there many times over the years. He knew the trail, and knew that no one living around the trail knew him. Given the reverse date of Evansdale, and it being the 13th, I believe that he set into a plan, into motion, to arrive at Monon High Bridge Trail to commit the very same act that he had committed in Evansdale. Thusly, he went, uh, thusly he waited three hours for two girls to arrive to victimize. And after that, he left at three o'clock and surely made a home in time for any dinner date that he may have had with his wife. Now that's the trail right there. Now, if this was pulled up on Google Maps, he could zoom right in to Monon High Bridge Trail. Right there on 25. You know, I can. You want me to do it? Do it. Okay. Do it. Show, show him how it goes right down that trail. Because if he took that, he went right by. Okay. Give me just a second. Pulling it up right now. Close this thing out. And... No, it does. And you know what, 12 volt? That's, I mean, when I found that, I said, yeah, I got the guy. I got him, man. This is the dude, sure enough. Because when that popped up, that was beyond anything I was expecting. I was like, yeah, now I know why he was in Delphi. No doubt about it. See, that Highway 25, that's your line right there on that on that right-hand side where it kind of S's. That's Highway 25. Right there. And 25 comes right up here. And it goes right up under oh. here. Pull straight up right there to the trail. Right there. Okay. All you had to do was exit left, take it right up, and park right there at the abandoned building. Right there. That was the whole of it. He was coming from this direction. He would have came in here, went straight up, like he said, ended right here. And then just to walk yep. down to the high bridge, which is right there. And then just walked it right over to the Freedom Bridge and straight down. Yep. Same way he left. Bam. It does, babe. It really does. But you know what, Faith? The, the thing is, is I knew. I did. I mean, after I found that he drove to uh, Delphi, once I knew that, once I said, yeah, I know he drove, that's when I went back to look at Evansville. When I went back and looked at Evansville, it was with fresh eyes. Everything was there. It was so identical. I'm like, yeah, I got did it. It's him. There was no question. Now, I'm 100% positive on both. He committed both. 
Yeah. That's right, and then you don't have uh, PayPal on there, or you don't have, uh, what's it called, Super super Chat? No, we don't have Super Chat on pay, on uh, WKT. We don't have enough subscribers. You know we will soon, as soon as we get 1,000, which is only 150 away. Yeah, that's all we need. Ladies and gentlemen, 150 subscribers. Um, you we, know what? We got 80 watching. 80 people watching. That's good, man, because that's 80 people that literally give a flying flip about this. Because I wanted people here that had an interest that wanted to see this, because this is the show, people. After this show, if you don't think it's him, you don't need to come back again. You don't need to be at any channel that I'm involved with. I don't think you got, like, common sense to rub together. <laughs> yeah. Because you cannot statistically look at this and say it's any other soul aside of him and you will know that since they came out and said oh this is our new direction oh this is the real sketch oh this is it no after that I'm like no that was BS people no it is old information they are giving you because they know precisely who did it mm -hmm. and it was all shut up and hush mouth and don't fly after that so much so they was not letting me into that second year they met me at the door and said no you are not coming in because they knew my questions and they knew what it related to and they wasn't going to have it. Now, what are you doing? Me? Yeah. I was just pulling things up. I was um, getting that video ready because if I try to play that video, the next part, um, it will uh, it'll freeze up on the screen so I had to drop it into uh, OBS. Okay, um, Get ready with that. Let me get to the next point here. Okay. Thomas Bruce drank alcohol, and this is where it plays into that, okay? Mm -hmm. Because after I complete that, I want you to play the traffic stop. Okay. Now, you could play that first one. The because that had stuff that we had never seen before, and I don't think that most people had seen that one. Okay. okay? Now, here's the deal with the first one. It will not let me download that. So. Okay. I have to go right. to the website and pull it back up. So let me pull that. Let me go back to it. Okay? All right. I just got to click on your link. So hold on just a second. But in the first one, people, he was talking rather calm. He wasn't yelling. He was kind of more calm-mannered, was just using a normal voice. And uh, it's, it's the whole grain of his voice that sounds like downhill. Now, I'm telling you right now, if it was done into equal mic, there would be, like, zero doubt in anybody's mind that that's the same guy. There's yeah. no one that sounds like that, aside of uh, my suspect there. Okay. And so let me move this over to the big screen. We're going to have to watch an ad, I'm sure. All right, let me, let me move the microphone real quick. Caught on camera, a heated exchange between a Missouri state. Yeah, see, this is what the problem I had last time was it lags like that. Trooper and Thomas Bruce, the man charged with those. You see what I mean? Yeah. You could be running too much stuff. Horrific man. crimes inside a St. Louis County Catholic supply. Yeah, it's going to lag the whole time. The, store. the newly released well, dash cam footage is from. I, I, it won't let me for some reason. It keeps saying not not able to or uh, file not found or something like that in the the downloader. Oh shit. But. Okay. All right. Um. Just pull it up on the website and show it. That is their website. Could you play it on the website with your camera toward it? Um. Because without this, it lacks. Hold on. El Pomerito, being Missouri's number one automotive group, comes with a lot.
of expectations at this council. Man, we gotta watch a damn Audi commercial. Are you kidding me? Service centers, you never know what you're going to get. If I'm <laughs> an Audi commercial. <laughs> If anybody wants to buy a car, then contact <laughs> Bummerito. <laughs> All right. Dash cam shows Bruce, uh, Thomas Bruce Road Rage. All right. It's... What the hell? Good morning, morning storm. <laughs> and dude, wait, what the hell is this? <laughs> what are you doing? It's, it's, cr it's, it's going nuts, dude. Road Rage, road Rage. <laughs> <laughs> it's going crazy. Where everything is ordinary, the time has come. All right, hold on. It wants to us make to life and watch another stupid ad because it's it's hard to get it pulled up, dude. Because it just lags, lags, lags. <laughs> yeah, but man, I mean, I got it on mine with the camera. Man, I could just switch around, show people. But this is kind of. Uh, it's because I got OBS going. On camera, a heated uh, exchange between them. Yeah, see what I mean? See how it lags like that? Missouri State Trooper and Thomas Bruce, the man charged with those horrific crimes inside a St. Louis County Catholic supply store. The newly released dash cam footage is from... Yeah. ...from an October traffic stop it's, for a suspected it's road playing. rage... But it's... It's a... Uh, ...incident in Jefferson County. Five on your side's investigative report... Yeah, I know. It's because I got OBS in the chat and everything. Jacob Long is here with more yeah, of that exactly. video Faith and what it re God, reveals that, that, about dude, Okay, dude. Okay, if you, I've got the walk. I, I I've downloaded the voice comparison with the suspect and the walk. And the walk. And the walk. I got them both on a video. Okay. You All know, right. Let's just kind of get this wrapped up here so everybody's like same spot. All right. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So let me pull these up. So you want me to show? I've got show the one. The walk. the walk. Okay. Show his walk, then the uh, suspect's walk. I got it all on one video. Walk, Watch this. Nope. I can do it right at the same time. It's doing it, and you can go ahead and talk about it. Hands in pockets, head down, same build, same guy. Now, he ain't holding a holster and he ain't got a coat on, but look at him. That's the same exact walk that he's doing. Now, the one on the left is slowed down a touch, whereas the one on the right is at normal speed. Right. Yeah, but you can see that walking plain as day. And then it yeah. just it repeats it. Yep. And, I, you know, that, I don't know, that, that right there, when I seen him walking with these hands like that, and I went and tied that together, I'm like, yeah, that, that, that is, man. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, his shoulders are not as high as BG because he ain't got all those clothes on. Do you understand? He hasn't got a hoodie and a coat and all that on. He's standing there in a regular shirt. So, yeah, his shoulders ain't going to look right. But you know what? Maybe you need a little common sense. Kind of tie some, like, little pieces together, like clothes and stuff. Yeah. Something to think about. All right. Okay, go to the uh, voice comparison, if you would. Okay. Voice comparison. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. Let me move my uh, speaker so you can hear it. All right. Listen to this. I am in a, a civil sense. You work for me. Okay. All right? Do you understand that? You do. I pay your taxes, m****. Okay. Yeah. It's the same 
Well, okay, you see right there, Lori's like, voices aren't the same. Lori, one was taken from a dash cam, the other one was taken from a phone in a pocket. If you think they were standing there with, like, identical microphones doing it, you're completely wrong. Don't tell me that the voices aren't the same, unless you're a voice expert and you have trained in that. Other than that, shut up, because I care not to hear it. Feel me? <laughs> Again, you know what? Took a half a kilometer, but but listen, I have yet to ban one person. <laughs> okay, the voices are not the same. Well, you might want to blame that on uh, Greeno for picking a shitty one to uh, compare it to. <laughs> I would actually did the one where he was just talking rather than when he is screaming and the uh, words were blanked out. But hey, whatever. I can't see anything they're talking yeah, about. Yes. Uh, you know what, 12 cut, if he had not of, okay, if he was arrested by the state trooper when he was pulled over and he was intoxicated, we would have known. Like the following day, we would have known. And he would already be, uh, he would already have murder trials filed against him. But with this, we and over like, God, it's almost going to be two years until they complete that trial. That's a long time to wait, people. A long time to wait. But the thing is, it's still going to be him. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, let, let me move down to the uh, next point of interest here. Okay. Okay, well, the next point of interest, and I just, I, again, this is just more one where I just read it. Everyone that I have spoken to all stated that he was a nice man, very friendly, loving toward his wife and friends. They said if they didn't know that police had the right man, they never would have suspected that it would have been Thomas Bruce. Thomas Bruce was a very respected man. Uh, he put his best out in front of people, and I believe that that's the kind of person that he was in front of others. I think that there's a switch that occurs when he drinks. And especially if it's a downtime for him, loss of a job, financial strain, uh, I think he goes out, he gets drunk, and I think that women have to comply. For whatever reason, these women have to comply or he kills them. That, I mean, that, I think that that may just be part of his motive. Number nine, a sexual motive. Thomas Bruce had a sexual motive with the 77-year-old lady, the 53-year-old lady, the other two women that was in the Catholic supply store. I feel that Evansdale and Delphi both were probably sexually related to one girl, and the other girl was uh, collateral. You know, she was there, she had to die. You see where I'm at? Yeah. Now go to number 10. Number 10. Uh, St. Louis police called Carroll County to inform them that they had arrested a man that was dressed like bridge guy. Uh, when committing first-degree murder and 15 other felony counts, in, with sodomy included. He looked like the sketch and had never been caught breaking the law. Now, those are all, now, while the first one isn't, but the other two are prerequisites for the uh, suspect. Although the first one, if he was dressed like that, that certainly holds a lot of ground. Correct? Do what? Correct, correct? Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up all these things. It's like sometimes it overloads on me on the computer screen. Now, number 11 is the voice of Thomas Bruce is D.O.B. to uh, the bridge guy saying down the hill. Blame Greeno as I did, everyone. <laughs> Dude, I could have come up with a better voice comparison. Just straight up, man. Just, I did already. Please watch my old video. <laughs> another view. Okay, what are you pulling up there? Uh, I've just, I got it on the sketch. Why, what are you seeing right now? Are you seeing the sketch? Yes. Okay. And then it's got his clothes. Yeah, that was the clothes. Now the one's got a car heart and you can't see that on the uh, picture where it's got a Carhartt tag, or even like really the zip, the zip up. It looks more button up. But the hat, the hat's probably very correct. That is probably the style hat that he was wearing right there. Wow. 
Fitting, huh? <laughs> Isn't that cool how you can just reach in there and grab it out of the picture? It's like... It's cool, isn't it? All right. So, yes. <laughs> okay. So now I need to go back to the. Down the hill. I'm gonna get tipped into the tip line. Guys, down the hill. Hold on. Okay. Guys, go down the hill. Yeah, it's a maybe. Don't tip me okay, in. Okay, now, number 12, he looks like the first sketch. Now, I say that because the FBI worked on that with the two people that saw the suspect that created the composite sketch, okay? Now, at two and a half years in, they're like, yeah, you know that first one, you know, all that. I know we've had it for a couple of years and said this is him, but we got this really generic sketch that we think is 18 to 40 lives around Delphi. That's why I called BS. That's why I said they're ending the investigation because anybody calling in on that, they never would have investigated. That's how law enforcement plays. Now, 13, he had never been arrested. He had no DNA or fingerprints in the database. Now, we knew that to be true because we knew that the DNA didn't hit the database. Nobody came up arrested, but we knew that they had DNA. But we didn't assume that the person had never broken the law before, just never had their DNA taken. But when Kim Riley said we can find no trace of it, I felt that that pointed to fingerprints as well. Yeah. You're staticking. There it is. You got it. Okay. Now, 14, Thomas Bruce does not have blue eyes. Can I get that mugshot? Yeah, hang on just a second. Let me pull it right back up. Thomas Bruce. The mugshot. The mugshot. Okay. Damn, I got too much shit pulled up in here. Mugshot right here. Let me make him on big screen again. And I'll pull, pull him right up there. Okay. And blow it up. There you go. Now, I want you to look at his eye. Okay? Okay. Look at the top and the bottom of his eye. When the cops came to his house, because I certainly feel that when he did that Catholic supply store, he knew that they would be at his house. I think that he was ready. He was going to fight. He was probably going to shoot him. I think when they busted in, they caught him off guard. He started to fight, and they beat his ass. Right. Yeah, I would say I would say so, too, that they probably did beat his ass. Well, you wouldn't just walk in and beat his ass unless the guy did something. I mean, they didn't beat the shit out of John D. Miller. <laughs> just walk in and kick his ass. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. That would, it would be funny, though, if they did. <laughs> Just walk in and rough him up over it. But you're right. But, they, they didn't just do that but, to John Miller. But look at his eyes. Look at him. Are they blue? They're green. I don't think they're green. They might be like a greenish brown. I don't know. They're kind of... Hazel. Yeah. A, well, hazel's more of a greenish kind of a... I don't know. It's almost like a... I wouldn't say brown exactly. It's almost like maybe a light greenish type dark brown. I don't know. It, it, it's a weird colored eye. But the lady said she couldn't say exactly what color it was. But she said, I know it was not blue. He does not have blue eyes. Now, show the uh, course uh, picture of him on the side with the sides of his hair being darker. Okay. Because law enforcement, after Delphi, said that the suspect would likely change his appearance. Now, I can tell you that from that time till the time that he went to court, he had shaved his head. No, not that one. The one where he's standing up and it's at the side, where it's showing the side of his head. Okay, hold on. I don't think I've got that one right here. Yeah, you do. I sent it. Hold on. Okay, 
Well, anyway, the sides of his head, although it was shaved when it was growing out, you can definitely see dark hair on the sides of his head where it's starting to come back in. Now, if that was grown back out to the length that it was in Delphi, and he was wearing a hat just like uh, Greeno had showed, right there on the sides of that hat, the hair sticking out would have appeared to be brownish red. Maybe with a little gray in it, but it would have been brownish red. Because he is Scottish. Yeah, I've only got the one. This one. Yeah, well, like I said, uh, they released that second sketch because it was generic. They knew it didn't matter. They knew who they had, and they didn't want it out as to who did it because they was going to go down and bust him in due time. They will not tell the public a damn thing. Nothing. Nada. Anything that they are doing right now, it's covering their own backside. Yeah. Now that right there, yeah, it is. But when you see it from the full side on, you can tell that that whole patch right there is dark. And anything that would have been hanging down right there would have had that coloration in it. Now that's going back to 2014. But as you can see, his hair was a little darker. Right. And, and it's still red here. So. And then he shaves it. So any yeah. idea on when he shaved? Like when his hair went completely gone? The what? Any idea on when when you can take a guess on when his hair went completely gone? No, I, I you know, I mean, I could say after Delphi, but I wouldn't know an exact date. Right. Right. Yeah. But, you know, it's like law enforcement said, the suspect will probably try to change his appearance somewhat as not to be, like, seen as being that guy. Right. And I think that that was a reason for his shaving the sides of his head, although he was going bald anyway at the top. Right. But, you know, he had a hat on, as you know. But the sides where his hair would hang down, that's where you would have been seen. Now, look at his facial hair. Yeah, it's red. Red. Because he's Scottish. His hair would have been the same. Do you have the picture when he was young? Um, you know what? No. No? No. Man, I did not set you up proper at all. <laughs> we didn't have time, people. This was this is a shortcut day. It's not Bruce. Hang on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold on. I can go get it. No. I need to ban that bitch. Who? The person that just hopped on to say it's not Bruce. No evidence. Just saying it. Please. Please go back and give me a thumbs down. Me and Wolf demand that HVAC tech. You will. H back. No, screw that, man. Oh, I bet most people in Scotland have green eyes and red hair. I mean, his family's from Scotland, but he's still got that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm gonna pull. Right. I'm gonna pull up the picture when he was young. Okay. Give me just a second. All right. There it is. Thomas Bruce got it? Young. Yeah, I got him. So young, young Tommy. All right. So let me go ahead and pull him up. All right, young Tommy, right here. There he is. He's up. Okay. Bam. Now, the people, that's some reddish brown hair. That is some reddish brown hair. <laughs> and that is like the color that he was losing as he was graying. Right there. Now, mind you, it was later in his life, but... Right. Uh, uh, Unipanther, I have not checked that yet, but I will directly after the show, okay? And I will write you back. Promise. I, I needed a couple questions to you. So, now, if you look at that picture right there with the new sketch, uh, I mean, if they was trying to aim it lower, but if they said, oh, this is made right after, it's like, yeah, I, I find that hard to believe. I really do. You know? Right. Okay. Back to the next one here. Which I had already covered. 
Okay. Now, I, you know, I talked about his, uh, the person that lived next to him <laughs> said that the FBI showed uh, her the, uh, him walking on the bridge like that. And she says, well, I told them I couldn't tell. Now, maybe she could have said, yeah, that may be. But, you know, they probably said, yeah, if anybody else asked, you know, say, I don't know. Right. You tell the FBI operates. Okay, now I'm going to read the FBI profile here. And I'm going to read the whole of it, okay? Okay. The suspect may have been experiencing stress related to legal troubles, spousal problems, employment difficulties, which fits both, financial strain, which fits both murders, and mental health issues, which fits both. Now, that was talking specifically in 2012. Again, I say that there was no FBI profile for uh, Delphi because it would have matched exclusively every word mentioned in uh, Evansdale. It would have told everybody. Pretty, pretty sure on that. All right, the suspect may be avoid discussing the case or showing interest in the matter, but is likely following developments in the media. The offender may uh, have attempted to abduct children or adults in the past. Following the disappearance, the suspect may have altered his or her appearance, such as changing hairstyle, facial hair. The offender's vehicle may have been altered with a new paint job or reupholstery. Now, that right there, I mean, those are things that these people do. They know that that's criminal behavior that is associated with this type of killing. You see where I'm at? Yeah. These are things that normally apply when these cases happen. Now, I showed employment difficulties one month before each one, financial strain with the bankruptcy right beforehand, mental health. Nobody's a preacher and goes and does that and sodomizes women, people. That is a mental health problem. Don't care how you dice it. That is what it is. Yeah. Now, look how much applies. You know? He lost his job beforehand for whatever reason, went out to bring bad luck upon people. You know, maybe, maybe that's all it was. Maybe. Maybe it was something more demonic. I don't really know. But, again, I mean, I feel that his whole breakdown in September with the uh, sexual assault 77-year-old lady, Last year, it's coming up on one year ago, and then the following month on the 16th of October with the pullover, and then you go to November the 20th, and that was the Catholic Supply uh, Sexual Assault and Homicide. Three in three months, and the guy had never been arrested before. I, I take that directly to C.C. Moore. I think he knew what was coming, and he was going out on his own terms, which he actually did. Right. <clears throat> now, this is important, okay, because the way I have this row is if anybody believes that this person is from the ages of 18 to 40 that lived, lives, or worked in the Delphi area, look at this. There was 46,000 tips phoned into the tip line. 46,000, okay? Delphi has a population, or uh, Carroll County has a population of 20 thousand that means that over twice the population of carroll county called somebody in and not a one of them was correct not one well mine was but that was after the fact <laughs> now delphi delphi just the city of delphi which fits into that twenty thousand three thousand five hundred people if he lived around there he would have been arrested within three days of that photo being released no doubt in my mind no doubt. Now, with 46,000 tips phoned in, please, man, that dude ain't from around there. He isn't. He isn't, man. And like I said, man, I've shown why he parked there, why he didn't want his licensing, because he came from St. Louis, people. He drove up here to commit that crime that day. He parked at the abandoned welfare building on County Road 300. He chose that spot as not to be in the main parking area where others could have seen the vehicle and the uh, where it was from. It, it, I mean, it, it was all set up by him because he was there to wait for the victims. He knew what he was there for. It's the same as Evansdale. Identical. He waited for him to show up, killed him, left. That was it. That was his whole reason for being there. Yeah. Yeah, and Delphi and Evansdale is not that far away. Oh, yeah, it is. Well, I mean, it's about, what, 400 miles? It's about 600 and so. Is it? 
<clears throat> yeah, I think it's like 630 miles away. 630 miles to the west northwest. Yeah. Yeah, straight up. Let's see here. All right, I'm looking at the chats. Okay. Has anybody ever watched anything on Evansdale in here? Do what? I was ask I was asking the people if anybody has ever watched anything on Evansdale other than related to Delphi. You know me, you know me, me and Greeno can kind of discuss this because actually when we did that video was about almost exactly 1 year ago. You remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we did the Evansdale uh, Delphi, um, you know, when we was discussing it too and how they fit, yep. we seen a lot of similarities, but I could not say at that time that, yeah, the same guy did. In fact, I think we both concluded that, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, but there's nothing really saying that it was the same guy. Now, when we found the vehicle that he drove, now, everything over a year's time and what I had picked up on, because then I went back to look at Evansdale. And upon seeing that, we're looking at the crimes. They were both off of the highway. You exit off the highway. You go to the trail. You abduct two girls. You kill the two girls. And you take off. Midday, both up. On the 13th, reversible day. And it was right there. I'm like, yeah, this dude was headed north on Highway 380 on Interstate. Yeah, and you know what? That was almost one year ago. It was, because we did that right after the uh, Burlington Fest, and it was at the end of uh, September. Yep, September 23rd is when it's showing, yeah. right there. Holy one cow. Week. That's crazy, dude. That, that uh, Evansdale and Delphi. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was just playing a clip of it. That says 400 miles. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the podcast that we had done uh, quite a while ago, actually. We were just sitting there talking about it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, that was that was a year ago right there. Yep. That's cool. Wow, look at that. Yeah. But, but shit changed, man. Shit changed. Yeah. I mean, in one year's time, a lot changed after looking at this. Because, man, a year ago, we was under the impression, man, the dude probably uh, walked. He had to. They never mentioned the car. Right. So I'm looking like, okay, man, look, if the guy didn't have a car, he had to come from Delphi. That's that's all in the mouse too. He had to. Him. Right. There's no other way to run it. He wasn't on the highway, walk, wasn't walking down the country road. Nobody's seen him walking into Delphi. You know, it's like he had to walk that... Uh, uh, railroad track down to the trail like that and then the trail back to the railroad track and back to residential. Right. That could have been all it was. But if he had a car, that changes everything. Yep. And when I found the route, I knew he drove. And then that changed everything. I went back to look at Evans though. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Are you reading any of the chat? What? Are you reading any of the chat? Yes, I am. I'm reading it as it pops up. Okay, some because sometimes I can't. If I'm like moving stuff around on the screen or whatever, I can't. I can't see it. Okay, so uh, give me just a second, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Let's let's take a quick break, man. Um, I'm gonna. If you guys would like to make a PayPal donation, then please visit one of our PayPal donation pages. It's right up there at the top. The top middle part of your screen, paypal.me forward slash Anthony Greeno or forward slash Michael Stroop 777. And you know what? I need to uh, move that thing over a little bit. Um, yeah, everybody's going to be paying it to a 77, seven, man. Mm -hmm. I wonder who Michael Stroop 77 seven is. Well, there it is. Michael oh, Stroop 777. Seven, seven. Seven. There it is. <laughs> All right. So, I had, yeah, Michael Stroop 77. Seven. They're sending, sending money to some random dude. So. <laughs> All right, so hang on a second. I'll take a quick break. I'm going to play this donation thing. Please make a donation because that's what helps our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Be right back after this. Yeah, there are, there are survivors. You're right. Do you want news or real news? 
WKAT is fan funded, meaning what you get is the uncut truth. This channel operates solely on your donations. For all upgrades. If you would like to make a donation, please visit our PayPal donation page. Right here. Donate, sit back, and get some truth right in your face. Your mom's preferred spot. <laughs> now that's how you donate. It means stuff to WKAT and your quality of news. So once again, <laughs> click that button. WKAT. <laughs> you should, because otherwise it'll echo. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you're right, I do. <laughs> you're like, can they hear that? <laughs> yeah, they could hear that. We was talking when I had the microphone muted, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah, if you'd like to make a PayPal donation, then visit one of those PayPal donation pages right up there. Michael Stroop 777, Anthony Greeno. Uh, that's what really helps our channel um, grow. It helps us do the upgrades on this channel. Um... And okay, so basically, and, and he was talking about this, wh whoever that was, Crime Junkie or whoever asked that question about the email. Um, she, all she said was that they had had a dinner date on February 13th. And she knows that because they always go to dinner the day before the holiday because they want to avoid the other people. But he had, he had given uh, reasons where, okay, it's a time jump from there to here. They're on Central Time, we're on Eastern Time. So we're an hour ahead of them. So he could have been here and then headed back there and been there at the time for a dinner date. You gotta think, what time do people usually go to dinner? Six to eight, six to 10 maybe, we'll say. Well, there, if, if, it's, if it's six o'clock here, it's five o'clock there. Okay, but well, wait, hold on. Greeno? Yeah. Okay, because look, she was working, and this is what I feel, because the time that he would have had to leave at approximately their time, 8.30, th no, at their time it would have been 7.30, because they're an hour behind us, all right? Right. And then they make a uh, hour forward coming this way at four and a half hours, would have arrived at approximately 12, before she went to work, when she was leaving for work. Okay, now if she got there at eight, nine, mm -hmm. however that played to work till five, and then to get home. Right. After her, I mean, you know what I would have to say is, oh, I'm over a blah 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 because he would almost been to St. Louis at that time. Right. You see where I'm at? Right. And I, I, yeah, and I'll be home in a minute because when they get home, they each got to get showered, ready, blah blah blah, and then head out. He would not have been missed. That's the point I made. He wasn't telling her where he where he was going or what he was going to do. Right. Right. And like I said, the only reason I found that is because it was in route to his brothers, and I know he had passed there many times, many times. Okay. So someone was saying Cheyenne's the dog walker. No, Cheyenne's not the person yeah. walking the dogs. No. No. That's a lady that lives over here. Okay. Not the private drive lady, but a different lady. Um. Cheyenne wouldn't bring her dogs all the way across that bridge. Nobody would take a dog across that bridge. Your dog would fall. It's too... Well, wait, 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 hold it. Cheyenne didn't take her dog. No. no well, why did you say Cheyenne wouldn't take her dog across Because there? someone said Cheyenne's the dog walker. You know what I mean? No, Cheyenne isn't the dog walker. Right, but nobody would take their dog across that bridge. I would. Yeah, but that's real unsturdy. It ain't unsturdy. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Dude, I would take Wolf across there any day. I'd carry him over the longer ones, but... Yeah, Wolf's very good on the bridges, man. He is. You're right. Uh, Cheyenne said she didn't see anything. Let me cover that real quick. Let me break down what happened with Cheyenne. Cheyenne arrived, uh, was that, 10 minutes before Flannel Shirt Guy, okay? Yep. I want everybody to listen to what I'm saying here. Cheyenne arrived at the, uh, pull it up at the main parking area. Okay. Pull that picture back. There it Show is. Show them the main parking area. All right, they're looking at it here. Okay. Show them where they would have parked at. Cheyenne right would have parked here. Okay. She parked there. 
Now, when she got there, she was walking down to the railroad bridge. Follow that down to the railroad bridge. Okay. Now, this is going to take some time because this is probably at about a mile. Maybe a little bit longer than a mile. All right? Okay. Right there is the secondary entrance where the girls came in. Back up a little bit. Back up to the secondary entrance. Okay. Back your mouse up to the secondary entrance. Right it is. There. It is. Back it's delayed. The girls came in off County Road 300. Now, Cheyenne walked all the way down because this is after the girls have been abducted. Take right. it on down to the bridge. Okay. Now it's at the bridge. Take your mouse down to the bridge. It is. You're ju you're just seeing the delay. Now, she got to over there and took a picture facing north. That was just before 3 o'clock. She said she didn't see anything. Now, flannel shirt guy arrived at the main parking area where she did 10 minutes after her. And he was headed down to the bridge. Same bridge right there, the railroad bridge. But the difference is, the suspect was walking out on the 501 trail where she didn't see him. Flannel shirt guy did. Okay? Now, I speculate that he was about right there. About right where his hand is. Seen Cheyenne come and held his ground so she could pass a comfortable distance. That way she wouldn't see him coming out of that, that area. And then hit the 501. With him being 10 minutes behind her, he's the one that spotted her. He yeah. spotted him leaving. That's the one that Mike Patty talked about on Dr. Phil. He's the guy that seen him leaving. Yep. Cheyenne didn't see anything. But at the time that that happened, the girls were probably dead, and he was about right up in that area, fixing to leave. Yep. Very quick crime, and flannel shirt guy seen him. That's who Cheyenne is. Yep. She was just a girl that was there that seen absolutely nothing. Yep. And that explained a lot to me when I heard about that. Yeah. yeah it, it does, too. It, it doesn't matter who she is. Listen to me. It doesn't make a flying flip who she is. She was a woman that was there that didn't see anything. If you are looking for her being the person, you're wrong. Don't go there. It is not her. She is not important. That's the point I make. She walked down there and did not see Dizek. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't see anything. So it's, it's, it's pointless. And you know what? I've probably got that picture in here that where people are looking at it. And people are like, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter who she is, like he's saying, because she's just some chick who happened to be there. And I mean, that's it. That's it. She just happened yeah. to be there at the wrong time, you know? She didn't see anything, and that's oh, no. that's why we were saying it tells us that when she got to this bridge and she was crossing it to go take that picture, the suspect was leaving this area. And because yeah. he didn't come back across the bridge and pass her, otherwise she would have said, I saw the dude. He came yeah, back through exactly. that way because just a couple minutes after she was on the bridge, he passed the flannel shirt guy up here on this area. Which makes perfect sense that he came back that way. Why would he go back through the water and back up the hill and back up the bridge? It d that don't make any sense. That would take too much time. He wanted to get out of there as quick as possible. V. Clark, she said in her quote, I did not see nor hear anything. I was there at about 3 o'clock. She had the picture from the south side of the bridge going north. She seen or heard nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. Yes. That's the point. She didn't see anything. If she did, she would have told, talked about it, and that never came out. She happened to be there. Nothing was seen. But flannel shirt guy, they came beds behind her. He saw him. Now, the thing is, is if he was walking that way when she was coming in, she would have saw him. That means that in that 10 minutes between the time that she got there and he hit that trail and flannel shirt guy seen him, that's where he was coming out of. Was right there off of, uh, what was that Maxwell's property? Um, Mears. Mears, my bad. Yeah, Mears. Yeah, Mears property. And you know what? Uh, the time of death for uh, Libby was the 13th at probably right at around uh, 2.45, somewhere in there. Uh, for Abby, it was the following morning. I think that she was hitting the head, knocked totally unconscious, died of uh, hypothermia before uh, they found her. Right. 
Now I was trying to pull up that screenshot from her, but I can't seem to... I don't have it located for some reason. I don't know why it's not in here. I thought it was. Yeah, I don't seem to have that thing anywhere right here. Alright. Yeah, so I'm still looking for it. But don't think I'm going to be able to pull that one up. Alright. Oh, crap. What? I killed everything. Don't worry. Get right back to it here. <laughs> he killed the whole chat? Sorry, killed the whole chat? Oh, man, I wiped out WK18 and don't even know how. Right. Okay. All right, so I'm pulling the chat back up. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can see. I can see your stuff every time. What age range did the witnesses give? I don't know. They didn't tell us what age age range. There's Alaska Blue. Do what? There's Alaska Blue. Yeah, she's been here. Okay. Did Flannel Shirt Guy really see his face? Flannel Shirt Guy saw the guy. I mean... They didn't give an age, however... Um, by them saying 18 to 40, and we know that they didn't say that up front. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yep. They didn't really give that age at any time. But then cops are saying we think he's 18 to 40. That was that's what I call misinformation. Yeah. And that that was because they already knew who did it. They didn't want to investigate anymore. They knew that the job was over, but they couldn't tell you. Keep it going with all the information, and from here on out, non-investigatable because we already know. All right. Let me look through. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Miss Muller. And, and you know what? I, I made that uh, connection as well. If two people seen him, neither would be off by more than five to six years of his age. If I was to meet Thomas Bruce, I'd go, ah, you know what? Somewhere upper 40s. That, that's what I would have put him at, upper 40s. I mean, he's got, like, he doesn't have a very wrinkled face. He looks a little bit younger than what he is, especially with the hat on. I wanted to put him that, uh, that, you know, at 50, uh, what would he have been, 51 at the time. Okay, so I've got that picture. Let me go here and pull that picture up for anybody who was wanting to see it. Here it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the picture, and I will put it on the big screen for everybody. Okay. Cheyenne's picture. Where's Cheyenne? I was there around 3 p.m. I didn't see them. Okay? And she goes further to elaborate in another post where she says, I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything. I spoke to law enforcement. I talked to law enforcement. Uh... There it is. She didn't see anything. Around 3, she didn't see anything. Now, we already know the girls were alive at 2.07. We know that they were alive a little bit longer to make it to where they made it. Uh, it obviously went down the hill, which is at the end of the bridge. We know they were alive at that point. We calculated that to be about 2.18 to 2.19 when his picture or his video was being taken. Approximately yes. two, yeah. 2.22 is when they made it over to the what we call the kill the kill area where they were found so from 222 to 3 she was there she she was arriving around the same time that he was abducting them so as he was taking them over there she was making her way down to the bridge you see what i'm saying and then after she may after she gets to the bridge and gets on it he's leaving up that area going uh you know this way and cutting back across and headed back towards the uh the trail towards where he passed flannel shirt guy. I mean, it's it, to us, it's pretty simple. But I can see how this is very confusing to people who don't who haven't followed this for a while because 
this isn't just something that we figured out like overnight, you know? No, I, you, you know what, Greeno? I mean, I was telling Mark Voorhees about this earlier. Yeah. It's because there is really nothing that involves this case. Not one word ever said by law enforcement. Not one interview that ever mattered. Not one press conference. Not one briefing. Not one anything that we do not know about. We followed every fact. We looked up more facts. We found more facts. We walked the trail. We know this case probably as well as any law enforcement officer as far as what occurred. Now, not the kill zone. Not what happened. I ain't saying that. Right. But this case we got the time, the timestamp. We know everything that occurred that day through that hour. Everything. Right. Every new detail we are in full understanding of. And the thing is, is that, like, when somebody's on here and they're asking a question, okay, that's great. I mean, because the question could be very old. It could be, you know, because they just got into it. And I have no quorums at all about answering that because I realized they just got into the case. But the thing is, is people have been following the case for a long time, and they bring me Facebook crap. That burns me, man. That mm-hmm. burns me in no uncertain terms. Right. That, that that makes my life hell, and I want to reach through YouTube, Adam. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, and I have, and you know what? Pe- people will say, please don't yell at me when they write to me, and I'm like, okay, look, I'm not a bad dude, man. I'm not. I ain't that guy, man. I might come off like that at times, but I'm not. You know, right. I'm not I have it for asking a question and it don't matter how bad the question may be they want an answer and I'm sitting here and if I can give them an answer I'm going to give them that answer I have on uh, my uh, channel answered some questions and I, I not even timing it I know when I started and looked back up pretty much wrote him a book but at the end of it I thought okay that dude's pretty caught up at this point mm-hmm. you know what I mean because I, I spent 45 minutes to an hour typing to them so that right. they know. Because that is, above everything, that is my job on this, is to let people know what I know. Because if they know what I know, exactly what I know, then they're where I am. They may not see it the same way, but they'll know what I know. Right. You see where I'm at? Yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing is like, when people start asking a lot of the questions is like, well, where's this and where's that? And I'm like, you know what? You need to go watch the timestamp video. You need to watch uh, this or that. Uh, you can you can catch up. And, and I tell people all the time, and I still tell people, and I'll tell people on this channel, if you want to catch up on this case 100% from what we know, so you know what we're talking about, then you really need to go to our channels start at the beginning and watch those videos in sequence in order to fully update yeah. yourself on what we knew when yeah. and you'll and see how things changed over a course of time and where we learned new information and we brought it right to the attention you know that yeah and, and, and that's very true because look I mean if, if, if we go back to uh, the first press conference that they did and that was in 2018 um, it was there that we learned that the guy had never committed a crime before. Before that, for a whole year, we had no clue. Yeah. Just like everybody else, we had no clue. And I want to sum this up, man, in just one quick sentence. We got that. You know who didn't? Who? Um, Law enforcement. Hang on. Rafael Sanchez didn't get it. <laughs> Rafael Sanchez. <laughs> got that information to you yeah we got that information to you so much that Rafael Sanchez came to talk to us <laughs> yeah he came to talk to us the little dick didn't it Eric <laughs> no but we got it yeah we got it though yeah, we, we, we aired it <laughs> hang on hold on let me do this verbatim for people that just showing up that thinks that there's something there look his wife said this I remember quite vividly that we we had a dinner date set for the night of the 13th, and we went there. We sure enough did, if that helps any. Well, and again, one more time. He left. 
Delphi at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. Going back west to where he goes into Central Time and loses an hour, being a four and a half hour drive on his clock when it took him three and a half hours to get there, and he would have made it for dinner. Now, does anybody have another question about his wife and the email? Anybody? Because, you know what? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, the pill might be wearing off. I don't want to get it all banditory, okay? I don't want to be that dude. I'm a good guy. Yeah. The... It's a good thing I took that because I would have banned a few people already. Yeah. Okay, Chelsea watches the channel, and that's really nice, and I understand, and, I, and my heart goes out to her, but the thing is, Kelsey don't know a damn thing. Yeah, well, they was asking why she lines up with Gray Hughes and not our channel. Well, you know what? I never asked her to. Because Greg Hughes wants to make money and get uh, subscribers, and I want to hand you the truth. That's the difference. If Greg, if, if Greg Hughes comes on here and opens his mouth, I'll ban him in a heartbeat. Thank if you. he wants to come on here and act respectable, he, he's welcome to be here all day long. Yeah. I do not tolerate anybody. Anybody. Anyone. If somebody wants to come on here to be a douche, they'll leave. They'll be gone. But he doesn't deal in facts. That's that's the problem, Pula Zenda. He doesn't deal in facts. He's well, been saying the whole... That's what I'm saying. But, yeah. You know, he'll have fun on the channel to get subscribers because people go, Oh, dear God, uh, you know, Kelsey's going to be on there. Man, she might know some uh, from dropping him off. Well, no, man. She said there was 40 people there. If there was 40 people there, people... You know how many people would have seen Bridge Guy? You okay. You have a guess on that? But there was two. Two people. Now, I don't care what she says. There was not 40 people there. She didn't get out of the car. She didn't go out there and look. She dropped him off. That was the whole of it. Now, when she got back, when they was looking for it, there may have been 40 people there. And that might have been like a, a misspeak on her part. But there weren't 40 people when she dropped him off, and she had no way of knowing that. Period. Yeah. Yeah. So I already, I already smashed that like button. We got forty six and eighty nine wait. No, 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 no. Hold it. Wait. Greeno, don't say another word. People that that thumbs up had better go up dramatically. I mean I'd better see fifty here really flipping quick. <laughs> we got eighty nine. Because, you know what, it's kind of rude to show up and not give a thumbs up. If you came here for anything, give a thumbs up. Guys, the least you could do is thumbs it up. Not everybody's the troll, okay? There you go. 50. Hold it. There you go. Thank you, guys. You rock. All right, now. <laughs> now speak, Greener. All right. We're good. So... I'm trying to look at the chat and everything else. I'm trying to close some shit down that's on the page here. Hold on. Okay. I'm I'm trying to close some of these things down and then look at and look at the chat as well at the same time. Okay. So now I got the chat pulled back up. <clears throat> okay. Great. Great. All right. So no, I can see everybody's chats. Um, all right. So there we go. All right, so yeah, thank you. Uh, make sure, yeah, make sure you always hit that like button, uh, like button. Share to uh, Facebook or any of the groups that you guys are in, so people can watch this and get a better understanding. Because people are sitting here and they got a lot of questions, or they're in those groups and they got a lot of questions, or they've never even heard of us, which is ridiculous to think if they if they follow the Delphi case. Because if you follow the Delphi case, it shows up. I mean, if you go on the Wikipedia in the Delphi case, you actually get acronyms for our names. And, and who we are associated with the Delphi case. So, <clears throat> Greeno. Yeah. Hey, okay, I mean, this is from chat. Uh, Melissa Webster said, just know that I complimented you, Anthony. That's all you need to know, sweetheart. LOL. Mm, thank, thank you very you much. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Thank you very much for that. Uh, from To uh, Anthony, Melissa. Yeah. You're the best. Hey, and you know what? I did not see uh, Sarah Lopez. I thought she was going to be here. Yeah, she I told me she had been here. You know what? I haven't seen her in a minute on, on some of these things. She must have be, been busy lately. But um, people, if, if, if you don't mind, and 
just want to take a good second, and that's it. Like right there by the thumbs up, thumbs down, right to the right of that where it says share. Man, if you could hit your Facebook page. If you could share that out. If you could share that out where other people can see this, then that puts this into the hands of a lot of people that would like to know the same thing that you showed up to get. And that would help us out and you and everyone else because if we can grow this community, we can really make this a better show every single week. Even even more than that. Look at the way he walks, man. <laughs> Look at the way he walks. There he is walking. Man. Let me tell you something. I never met my suspect in person, but I can tell you right now, if I had seen him walking down the street, that would have been him. <laughs> and if I walked past him, he would have said, oh, no, Michael Cash showed up to get me. I better kill him. <laughs> I better kill him. Quit blabbing and answer what questions, dude. Answer what questions? Quit blabbing and answer what questions? Who is that? You know what? If, if you want a question answered, man, make it very apparent that it's a question. Capitalize. This is a question. End it with multiple uh, question marks. Well, what was that? Okay, so... You know what, dude? That, that's more on uh, Greeno. I think he's the one that's seen that. Read Carol Carroll's comment there. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Um, hold on. Well, you say balls of titanium, but the girls walked across it. Yeah, there's been a lot of people walking across it, actually. So, if you're talking... I ran across it. So, this is the picture that's being talked about. And I'll pull it up on the bigger screen by the Photoshop person. And you know what? Again, this is just a sketch and it's just Photoshop. All the person did was take this and make it look like a real person over here. Now, I've asked the person to actually do it with the older sketch. I actually reached out to that person and says, look into it. Uh, will you make the older sketch look like this, how you did this? And... I don't know if I've got a response back yet, but all they did was take this photo and edit it with skin and make it actually look like a real person. It's the same picture, it's just been photoshopped, which is not hard to do, but I don't want to take the time to sit there and do that because all you're getting is, is this, you know? But this is what he created according to this. I've already asked him to do the older sketch. And that's that. No, Bebop, you're not blocked. So, yeah, so I can't really see the chat because I'm pulling these things up that people are talking about. I think he's talking about. I think she's talking about Gray. Gray. Okay. Yeah, Hughes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All I caught was that, and I just thought, okay, because I will, and know that I will, but not. But it's not that somebody disagrees with me. I have no problem with a person disagreeing me with me, but they must show evidence. If they don't show evidence and it's, well, I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. Well, your opinion belongs off my channel immediately. <laughs> okay, well, I love you, man. Don, hey, V, you know, geez, if it was just me and you, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> be, we got all of these be, people. It would be like best bud. Right. like, bam. But honestly, and this is the real, real truth of it. Look, there isn't a person subscribed here that I don't really, you know, I mean, you are what makes my channel. It's you guys. 
it is seriously you guys. You know, and it, I mean, it, it's me and him saying things, but at the same time, if we didn't have you guys to view it, where would we be? We'd just be sitting at home, man, just discussing this shit to ourselves and woof. But you know what? See, man, I have lived alone for so long, for so long, that it's like that. It's like, no, it's my way or you can go F yourself, period. Don't give a shit. Bye. You know? That's who I am because I don't tolerate long and I will not put up with a smart ass. If somebody wants to come on here to be like that, they'll, they'll leave because I want this to be what it is, what I want it to be. Me and Greeno giving you the goods and we have. Make no mistake, we've given you everything on this. One law enforcement, they didn't do it. It wasn't these other channels doing it. It was me and Greeno. Just us, period. Yeah, exactly. It was just us, and it was just us going down to the crime scene. Okay, put it this way, and I've explained this a lot. From day one, we've been on this, okay? The day they were found, I was in Delphi. We was making a video right away about this. We've interviewed Tobe, the sheriff, uh, Doug Carter, Kim Riley, we've been to the press conferences. Um, Daniel Nation's wife. Twice. Daniel Nation's wife, yeah, twice. Daniel Nation's. Um, More than once. Yep. Teller County Police, the sheriff's office there. Um, uh, who else? Let's see. We, we, we've met these people in person. Mike, Becky, Anna, Kelsey, uh... Uh, Tara German, uh, the families, we've met them all in person, we've talked to them, um, been to events, we've went across, the, we went to the trail, across the bridge, scouted out the whole area, uh, went to where the girls were dropped off, been to Ron Logan's house, talked to Ron Logan, was at all of Ron Logan's hearings, um, walked down the hill multiple times, went to Mrs. Weber's property, went to the other properties around there. Uh, walked across the creek, through the creek, into the kill zone, and walked up to the cemetery and from the cemetery and back up to where the suspect had escaped from. No one else has done all that. No one. Nobody's came close. To Nobody. That. Nobody. And you know what? People say, oh, that's bragging. You know what? Yeah, it is bragging because I'm proud to say that I have done all that and him too. We've done that to try to show you what it really is. You know? And no, Ron Logan is well, not the uncle of Eric Alter. And, and you, you know what? And, and this, again, I mean, like, because a lot of things that I say, in the way that I'm saying them, is always going to come off braggadocio. Because I'm speaking of myself or Greeno. But I, we, I don't have anybody else to talk about. Do you see where I'm at? <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, who, else, who else could I talk about upon this? It's only me and him that I know that are doing it. I mean, I, I can say things about a couple of uh, great used videos that were really good off to go. I mean, that was that, it, very good, man. I gave him his props entirely on that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of these other people, Harvey Carroll, and da, 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 you know, after a minute, it's, it's like, uh, people please. Because they're not following facts. They're just following crap. And people want to hear crap. And when people want to hear crap, that's where they go. When they bring crap to me, I'm the first one to go, you know what, that's crap. And if you mention it again, you're out here. Because I don't want people bringing crap to my channel. So, yeah, if I say, yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, it sounds braggadocio. Maybe a little bit, but the fact is, it's, it's true. We did do that. We've done all of this. And, I mean, and a lot of people give her uh, support for that, and I appreciate that. And it's not about the appreciation. It's not about the reward, because nobody's getting that reward. What it is, is about, yes, you guys gave us what we wanted all the way through. And now, we got this stuff solved. I'm telling you, it's solved. To me, solved. 
Evansdale, Delphi, same suspect, Thomas Bruce Salt. Now, there's one remaining fact that I got why that I'm going to get, and that is the white suburban. I can find out that he had a white suburban. There are different ways that I can do it. Okay. But if I if I find out that he had a white suburban, guess what? It's nailed down. It, it's like a barn nail and a sledgehammer. Put it in. Blam! Nailed. Right. No, it isn't. Uh, no, no, it is not because I investigated this, and I don't care what law enforcement says. Do you understand that? I don't care. I was law enforcement. I know what investigation is, and I did it thoroughly. And I and, and I don't care what somebody's thoughts are. Like, oh, you can't. Yes, I can. And don't tell me what to do on my channel. That pisses me off. <laughs> it does. Don't tell me what to do on my channel, man. I don't come to your house and tell you what to do. Don't do the same because, you know what, if I went to your house and told you not to do something, you'd say, dude, get the hell out of here. Who do you think you are? <laughs> well, same way I feel when somebody shows up and tells me something like that. Hey, maybe you need to go to law enforcement and get on your knees and give them love because you're not going to get it here like that. Not for that statement. Right. All I'm doing is pulling up different pictures and stuff while we're talking. That's, yeah, hey, you know what? I don't know who that dude is right there, but, man, I dig the shit out of his hair. I do. Oh. That one? What? <laughs> you see, it's the chest. Oh, no hair. I'm talking below that. <laughs> A dude right there. No. He got hair, man. No, yeah, that, that one? cat, man. Yeah. Him? That dude's got hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that dude's got a mustache. Yeah. It's kind of walrusy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quoting John Lennon when I say he is the walrus. <laughs> he is the walrus. There it is. Goo goo ka choo goo goo goo. That's funny. All right, so hold on. Let me. I'm trying to go through here and grab some of those pictures that we. There he is, and look in the back. He's he, he's going. <laughs> he's being all walrus like. He's like a walrus. Somebody's <laughs> <laughs> shaving his back, you know. Yeah. I remember being there for that. Who's that, Logan? Logan. Yeah, it's Logan and John. <laughs> and John. John. John Randall. Doing John. Mr. Randall. He's being all Randall like. Oh man, that's sad, dude. That is. And you know what? That's why he's got to pay. Yeah, that right there. The yeah. Of crime. Well done, D. Lacey. <laughs> yeah. The Walrus of Crime. Yeah, he needs to pay for doing that. Yeah, you know, Melissa Webster, exactly. And you know what? Look, look, just a moment here, Greeno. Okay. We have been on this case for, it's now over two and a half years. And, and again, there is a press conference, a briefing, an interview. There is nothing of any importance that was ever stated upon this case that we did not hear and look into. We got more information than what they handed out. We walked the path. We, we took the whole route. There is no one out there that has this kind of knowledge that me and Greeno do upon this. No one. Now, when somebody comes out and they're talking about some blah, 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 woo, 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 stuff that doesn't even apply into this case, trying to make something out of it, that's called just being a... I ain't even going to use the word. I don't want to like demonetize. But the point is, is that... Man, they're just getting views, man. It's like somebody talking about the cemetery theory. Or, or, or the, you know, it's like no matter what it is, man, they just want to get those views to make money. No, we want to give you the facts. And, hey, if you give us money for that fact, fine, thanks, because we can upgrade our channel, man. We can get out there and do more. We can get more done. But the thing is, is we are offering truth. And I defy anybody to tell me something that we're not handing out here that is not truth. It's all fact. 
It's all circumstance. It's all evidence. It's all real. There isn't one word of this that's a lie that we made up. Nothing. Not one word. Right. So no, we're not following these other people's lead. But what these other people need to do is follow our lead and talk about the facts. Maybe investigate. You know, maybe look into it. Right. That's what I. That's what I started doing when I got into it, and when I did. Guess what? Every time I'd go back and look with fresh eyes, boom, there it was. You know, I'd see more. I'd find more. I would share more. I would let you know more. It's yeah. game over. It's game over. There's your guy right there. He did it. He's the one. Jimmy he... Duvall is nobody. Jimmy, Jimmy Duvall. Duvall did do it. Jimmy Duvall's cleared. It isn't Jimmy Duvall. That's a long time. That was a long time ago. Remember, that we even, we even right mentioned that. We, right we, <laughs> we even mentioned that to the sheriff. Yeah. You know? I remember that. Jimmy Duvall. Yeah, that, that was uh, some old stuff there. Jimmy Duvall. Uh, I meant Derek Record. Libby's dad, I was wondering if that's what he was talking about. Um, I went up... Was you talking about that earlier? What? Reno? What? Derek's record? Derek? No, not really. I don't think so. Okay. No, I don't think anybody's mentioned Derek. Derek is not the guy for anybody that thinks that. You know? Um, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Melissa, what record? Are, 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 are you talking about Greeno's rest or mine? <laughs> because I've been arrested. I have been arrested. I'm a felon, people. <laughs> I am an ex-military policeman. I took two years of law enforcement in college. I became an alcoholic, and you know what? I had broken the law, and I had a marijuana arrest that was a felony that landed me in Westville Prison. And you know what? Not one single thing did I ever do that had a victim. Not one. Actually, under American law, I am free because I've never broken a singular law. And if anybody's got anything to say different than that, yeah, uh, 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 you know, I can't really just say those words, but you know what I mean. Just go tell him. Just tell him I said that. Tell him to just take a big claw hammer. And if it's needed, and I'm not saying that it is, tell him to get a jar of Vaseline to help. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, okay, something I did mention earlier that we wasn't, that we didn't really get into is when you was talking about C.C. Moore, right? Yeah. Um, I, I mentioned something that I wrote in, I think I, I was like telling people it was in your chat or whatever, um, that she had watched that video and commented on it. Remember that? Remember when we sent that video to her? Yes. And she had commented on it and she's like, you know what? I, I would work that case, and that's what kind of started oh, the yeah. thing, like, talking about that. Yeah, because we asked her if she would if law enforcement asked. She said, yeah, I've known about no fight since I haven't, and if they asked me, yes, I would gladly take that on. Right. And right after that, Logan Sport Paper put that uh, Carroll County was using the same technology. That's her. Yep. And after a few months, I thought, where is he? Yeah. Why are we caught? Ex What's going on? Exactly. And if she hadn't been called in earlier, again, he would have been arrested and Jamie Schmidt would still be alive. Why, you know, why I must, I would ask law enforcement about that. I would. But you know what? Let me put it to you like this. After this case is solved, hell, man, I, I ain't even got to run. I think people will just nominate me for sheriff. <laughs> For and sure. speaking of braggadocio, what? John Kelly, who is a premier profiler, pretty profiled out uh, Gary Ridgway. Now, when he did his thing on Evansdale and Delphi, same person, at the end of that, he says, nah, I think that the guy that pulled off Evansdale was more calculated, a smarter man, the way that he did it. And, you know, when he completed all that, saying, I don't think it was the same guy, I got a hold of him, and I'm like, you know what, I got some information that might change your mind. Well, I'm going to be gone over the weekend, but if you can send that to my Facebook page, I'll look it over. So I typed it out, sent it to him. 
he got back a hold of me the following Monday. He's like, yeah, dude, man, looked at that. Well done. He goes, man, do you mind if I share this with my team? Uh, no, I do not. Yeah. Now, when this comes back that it is my suspect, God, I do hope that John Kelly LLC at least goes. <laughs> I hope he does that anyway. The slow clap. Because I had to correct him on that, and and he took it in kind. He was like, you know what? Yeah, well done too. Uh, I like what you wrote, man. Gives a lot of credence to what you're talking about. Yeah. You know what? I've watched a few of John Kelly's videos, but like, I, I would rather that he like I don't know. I, I don't know what he bases his information off of. Well, you know what? He has a team. Okay. He, okay. Now I think it's for this reason because he's not doing just one case. He's probably doing like multiple cases. Now, say I need, like, information pulled up on Joe Blow that I'm investigating. Well, I get a guy to pull up all the information on Joe Blow, all of it, so that he can get that to me. I got this person that's going to pull up, you see what I mean? And to give me that information where I can look it over and then make deductions. I think that that, oh, hang on. Now, fuck you, uh, Harvey Carroll. I don't even know how you go. Oh, that's right, we're on WKAT. Go fuck yourself in the ass, bitch. Yeah, nobody likes you, Harvey. You know, you really are a baby, dude. I can go someplace. Just get the F out of here. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm watching. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's a fact. Hey, if you guys want it, man, maybe he's got a channel. You can go over to his channel. Believe me, you're, you're going to be highly disappointed. <laughs> I'm sitting here just scrolling through all the videos and stuff. Nothing. I'm just looking through the videos just to show people what videos are on there. Oh, I got it. got it. That's all I'm doing is pulling up videos, like pulling up your channel, pulling up John Kelly's, pulling up mine, just clicking through and showing through the videos. Side. 
you know, because I know what law enforcement says, and I know when they're trying not to say something, and I know what they're trying not to say, and I know that that makes that that what they're not trying to say to be true. Right. See where I'm at? It's like easy to read law enforcement, real easy. Right. And we've done very good at it. I might add. Yeah. Aw, uh, man, people can't see me, though. I know. Yeah, I know, but man, it sucks. I got my hair all good. <laughs> they see the picture. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, you might, ah. Uh, yeah, you know, you really should just look at my hair. Ah. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. For a 53-year-old man, that hair looks rock school, man. Yeah. That stuff looks like heavy metal day dream. <laughs> <laughs> so all right people so we want you guys to show your appreciation by clicking those paypal donation links if you guys uh like this channel and, and want to uh help with the funding of going places and doing things helping with upgrading the equipment then make a paypal donation to one of those links up at the top right over there and the moderator should post it in the, the thing. I don't have the chat the chat pulled up because I've been clicking through all this stuff and going through things. So all you have to do is go right up through there and click one of, or uh, type those in to uh, PayPal and boom, you can make a donation and that helps us out. So when we're doing this right here, the donations are shared. Okay, it's, so if you donate to one, just put for WKAT in the note section and we'll know that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We need, I don't know how many more subscribers. I don't know how many we've got so far. Um, but we need more subscribers on WKAT. Remember, what I said was when we get to 1,000 on WKAT and also 5,000 on mine, I'm going to give you this. This is signed by Jackal. Jesse James Dupree in the band got this from the concert that I went to. Uh, we will give this away, and there you go. Okay, so this is worth some money. So if anybody, like, we're just going to give that away, but we need 5,000 on my channel, and we need 1,000 on this channel. We're almost there on this channel. We only need 100 and something more to go. It's not that many. You know what? If, if we get... Uh, 1,000 on here, then we can monetize. Yeah. And the monetization, that helps. <coughs> but then we can get paid for, like, video rather than just asking. But in the meantime, this channel ain't making anything because it has no way to make money on videos. There is no super chat. Nobody can do it. You know what I mean? They, the only thing they can do is send to uh, PayPal. That's it. Right. Yeah, we gotta have one thousand for super chats. One thousand, and this is why we ask everybody to share this out because we wanted to get up to a thousand sub, which was uh, a little bad because I really thought that this would be a bigger day for subs on this channel. I thought that we could get the people over here because uh, people look. A simple question for you: Has this pretty much been summed up? Is anybody in some little belief that it isn't? Is somebody believing that it's like the cemetery theory or the deer stand theory? Is there somebody out there thinking there was 50 people that corralled the girls? Is there any Facebook people? Or do people believe that we have this nailed down? I'm waiting for responses. Okay. Well, I don't even think. See, nobody even cares. Yeah, nobody, no, nobody gives a crap. Just sitting there listening? Everybody just sitting there listening? Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah maybe, maybe not. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say anything. I don't wanna look stupid. Yeah, there's 70, <laughs> 73 and 53 likes. Hit that like button, y'all. And share this to Facebook or wherever, whatever social oh, media man. site, Twitter, Instagram, wherever else you're sending it to. Hit that like yeah, you know what? If you, guys, if you guys can share that, that's the greatest gift right there. Share it out to your Facebook. Because, man, if we got, like, I don't know, 12, 12 shares, 
12. It only takes a person hitting a button and going, yeah, I'll show you that to Facebook. Do mm-hmm. that. My God, man, 73 people did that, man. You know what? We could really get the word out. This word would be out thick. Yeah. Now, I go to somebody's channel and watch them live, and I don't know. We're not sure if it anybody's channel if I'm going to watch it live. First thing I do is hit the thumbs up. That's the first thing you should do. I respect. I'm here to watch your channel, man. It's a thumbs up for you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it that you want to know that I'm talking about? Uh, uh, tell me what you want to know that I'm talking about. Who? Uh, Moonlight Tranquility. Michael Cat. please tell me what you're talking about. Well, I need to know what it is. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, uh, you know what? You missed the whole thing. Uh, uh, Moonlight Tranquility, do this. Go to my channel, Michael Cat. Watch my last video, which is uh, the. Uh, this is the evidence unfolded. I think it's called "Today's the Day." Watch that. And what I do is I talk about what we came on here to discuss. And the first part of this video discusses it with pictures. You will not be disappointed. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull the chat back up. Yeah, I'm pulling the chat back up. All right, great. And you know what? Let me know what you think after the fact. This is my email right here. And I do not mind anybody reaching me on my email for any questions or anything like that. So hit me up as soon as you like after watching it. But again, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I think this wraps up the whole case of Evansdale and Delphi in one little suspect. Yeah. So we're going to take a quick break real quick, man. Let me, let me take a quick break real quick, and I'll play a sweep real quick. We'll be right back. Okay. What's going on, YouTube? Facebook, or wherever the heck you're watching from, like, share, and subscribe to North Central Indiana's best YouTube channel around. This is Outlaw Media. WKAT. Unfiltered, uncut, and above reproach. He is Michael J. Cat. He is Anthony Greeno. And they're back on YouTube. So go there. And don't just go there. Subscribe. Uncovering the truth and breaking the mold. Are you tired of watching the news? Getting the same old, same old stories day in and day out? Then you must be ready for some action. And not that crap the government is trying to feed you. Then tune in to the following program. Outlaw Media. WKAT. North Central Indiana's YouTube leader is bringing back the best. The best. Podcast. In the mother world. They are the true crime duo. Covering it all. From the most prolific crimes in history. To that guy busted down the road for drinking a beer and eating a pizza. <laughs> Michael J. Cat, A former military policeman, now dedicated to researching cases to find out the facts. Anthony Greeno. A former reality TV bounty hunter who has arrested some of the nation's most dangerous fugitives. Together, they are WKAT. A fan-funded news organization hell-bent on seeking out justice. Southern Style. This channel operates solely on your donations. If you'd like to make a donation, then please visit one of our PayPal donation pages. Or, if you're a high roller, then maybe you can visit them both. Right here. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talks. Here comes the money. So if you're subscribed to Michael Cash or Anthony Greeno's True Crime Investigates, then head on over to our Outlaw Media page, click that subscribe button, and share with all of your social media friends. WKAT. Uncovering the truth and breaking the mold. Okay, man, you're live. You're what? 
You're live. I'm live? Well, we both are. I mean, you're not. Oh, you're not right. shown, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm still live. They can still hear me live. Yeah, they can still hear you live. So, oh, all right. So, I'm going to pull up the chat now. All right, there it is. Okay, so uh, do we go to questions? Yeah, we can go to questions. Does anybody have any questions? Because now I can see this thing. Let me check my um, email. Because a couple people had emailed me. Talk, which I doubt they did. <laughs> but, you know what? I'll just call somebody for no reason. Hey, Uncle Gary, how you doing? Would you like to be on my show? Who is this? Michael. Michael! <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, you know what? Okay. I had two people that said that they sent me an email and neither email showed up. Well, that's kind of insane. Nobody sent me an email that said they sent me an email. Huh. Yeah, Unipanther, Unipanther says, yeah. Yeah, she lied, man. Unipanther saying, I did email you. No, you did not. I really be here. I'm sorry, Unipanther. Here, let's try this again. Uh, yeah, that's my email. No doubt about it. This is it. So, yeah, if you, if you want to send some, make sure it goes to that address because there is nothing. Nothing on that email address. MrCat420 at gmail.com. Might want to copy and paste. Okay. Well, why, well, why would it be in the spam? It shouldn't go to spam. No, there, there nothing. Into spam? Well, I don't know. Uh, my Mr. Cat, ooh, de woo, hey, Lexi, hey, you know what, oh my god, there might be a few people in here, but man, there's a lot of porn shit, <laughs> hang on, uh, let's see, <laughs> uh, I have no idea who that is, I have no idea, that's probably just some crap, uh, Lexi, no, it's the same crap, yeah, there ain't anybody, uh, that wrote me. That's in spam. And let me go back up here. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I don't know. It just shouldn't be that hard. I mean, you send to Mr. Cat 420, it arrives right there every single time. I'd resend. I just resend something and just go, hey, it's me or something. But yeah, nothing arrived, people. Nothing. So if you send me an email, yeah, it ain't there. Yeah, I just checked my email. I got a couple emails, but they're from earlier. All right. Well, anyway, uh, are we going to answer questions? If anybody's got any questions, throw them up now. we got a couple minutes, and go. Yeah. No, I didn't do any videos on Thomas Bruce because I was locked up. Would the adrenaline give the killer some edge after running through the kills? Well, I'm sure it would. Killing would, would put Look, the person on edge. Let, let, let me put it to you like this, little Al. Uh, Thomas Bruce is 45 days older than I am. 45 days older than I am. He is not an old man. He's 53. I can run two miles, and I'm positive that he can go up that little ravine and follow a trail. No problem it wouldn't have killed him guy is 80 you know what I mean it's not like it would have wiped him out or anything right no 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 Dustin listen no one knows how the girls were killed law enforcement never <laughs> released that nor should they only the suspect knows that that stops false uh, confessions 
nobody knows. And furthermore, dude, I don't give a damn. I don't care how it was that he killed him. That shit's graphic, and I don't fucking have a mind to want to know that. Uh, what, what is your question, uh, Chris? I'll get right up there to it. Yeah, I checked my junk folder, if that's what it was. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll check junk, but I mean, here's the thing. When you send my email, if it's just an email, it's going to arrive in my inbox. I mean, I don't understand why they didn't. I mean, I wanted to... Uh, okay, hang on. Let, let me go back and check again. See if it's there. How did Thomas Bruce know about the trail? Because he would have driven by it on his way to Fort Wayne. Yeah. He'd stopped there, I'm sure, many, many times over the years. Like I said, it was a safe place for him because he knew that he could go there and nobody around there knew him. Yeah. And that's exactly the truth of the 46,000. Yeah. Okay, now I got both. I got both of them, Unipanther. Thank you. All right. Hey, Unipanther, did you want me to call you? If you do... Send me a uh, number right there to that address, and I will dial immediately. Okay, sweet. Yeah, uh, do that, and I will call you here in just a moment. Okay. So are you going to call her or something, or after you get off here? He doesn't have a person of interest right now, Lee. Uh, he will, though. In fact, uh, I was telling him that after tonight, if he wasn't on my side, I'd probably kill him. <laughs> <laughs> after the show, okay. So yeah, make a donation, y'all, if you are interested in sending money to these channels, or to WKT, or to him, or to me, whatever it is. Uh, make a donation, put WKT in there if it's okay. for both of us. We will uh, share that. When was he in Fort Wayne? Well, he has, he has family that lives in Fort Wayne. Michael can explain really more on that. I don't, I don't know a whole lot. He did all the research while I was gone. So uh, He has a brother that has a... Uh, oh, man, I forget the name of it. It's, it's like a Baptist church. I don't know that he owns it, but I know he goes there in Fort Wayne, but he lives in Fort Wayne. Now, when I uh, did Google directions from uh, Thomas Bruce's residence in Imperial, Missouri, to Fort Wayne, it gave me the I-70 route and the Hoosier Heartland route. When I seen the Hoosier Heartland route where right by Monon High Bridge Trail, I knew he had always taken that trail and always stopped at Monon High Bridge Trail. That's why it was a safe place for him to go on the reverse state of Evansdale. Yeah, there you go. And that's Thomas Bruce walking in the suspect, walking on the left. Yeah. Hands, hands in pocket, head down. Hands in pocket, head down. Now, the one on the left is slowed down. The other one's regular speed. Yeah. Uh, what's up with the hands in the pockets thing? What were you saying? That's when he's under stress or, or in a tight situation? You know, you see, it, it just seems to me because one... <clears throat> There on the bridge, he knew what was ready to occur. He was he was heading there to do it. You see where I'm at? Right. He was a little fucked up, hands in pockets. Now he's looking down there for a reason, and I'll give it that. But in the second one, you see he looks down when he heads forward right there. He's got his hands in his pockets, heads down, head down, mm -hmm. like he's looking look straight in front of him. Now in both cases, man, he was in a a hard place. Because right here, he knew what he was fixing to do. Over there, he knew if he got arrested, he was it. Right. Both cases, drunk up. Yeah. Yeah, he did play that cop. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> man. He really did. Yeah. Does Thomas Bruce wear glasses? Well, he did in that one picture. You know, it might be readers, though, because, I mean, you don't really wear them that much often, like outside of that. Right. I mean, I don't know that, but it's just kind of my thought. 
right I'm pulling that up just so they can see it I mean there he is with glasses on uh, yes I could have ran across that bridge drunk it's sturdy you just don't want to step between any ties you know what I mean yeah and most of them make big enough that your foot's going to fall through but there's a couple there's a couple you would not want to step into yeah Chris wants to know uh, about his childhood do you know anything about that I know, but everybody's asked about his childhood, and I've said the same thing. How in the hell would I know about his childhood? You think I backed up in time when and talked to his parents or some shit? No. Right. Yeah, please stop with the childhood. It'd be nice to know, but there's no way to find it out. You know, there is no way. Right. People say, well, how do you think that he was killed? Well, how in the fuck do you think he was killed? And you're asking the wrong dude. Nobody told me, and I ain't the one that cares. I don't want to know. It does not help me solve that crime knowing why he did there. The simple fact is, if I know enough that I can place him there and say, yeah, he's that dude, that's what works. Just that and that alone. Anything outside of that, that is called tabloid just wanting to know a bunch of shit. And I ain't into it. Right. Okay, well, uh, when did you want to end the uh, video here? Well, that's what I was just checking. It was my phone percentage. Um, at about 15% on my phone percentage. So, all right, I say that we can end it anytime you want. Well, I don't really have anything more. Okay. I mean, to add on this, um, I will probably call it until I get the uh, information on his... Um, <clears throat> white suburban but that may be tomorrow right but if I get that nah again that sums it up man that's the that's just the full mill deal uh survivor thank you for being here and I would like to thank everybody for being here man everyone because I mean without you guys being here uh, you know what it'd be it'd just be me and Greeno talking on the phone yep that's pretty much what it'd be so yep all right. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share this video to Facebook or other social media outlets like Twitter, Instagram, wherever else you want to share. Uh, if you want to make a PayPal donation, then it's those links at the top of the screen right there. And also, important information scrolls across the bottom of your screen in the red text right there. Oh, hey, dude, if you could change that text to something other than red because you can't really see it. You can't? You can't read it. Okay. If it was white, it would probably stand out a lot better. All right, I can or change it. Black. I can change it. All right, I'll have to do it All for right, next time. All right, with that, everybody, I'll see you in my next video. All right. Busy. All right, keep it Southern style, y'all.